Hey guys, it's Ruffles Kerman, and today we are going to be building a flying cargo truck. So this was something that somebody recently asked about in the comments. They wanted me to build a just a flying cargo truck. I don't know exactly what they were picturing. I don't know exactly what I was picturing when I first saw the comment, but it turned out pretty interesting, and it does fly. It's a, it's a cargo truck with lots of cargo, and it flies. So I guess I fulfilled that part at least. Um, it's not like an 18 wheeler or anything, it's just a big truck with uh, a lot of room in the back. The flying was probably, or not probably, definitely the hardest part because it's pretty heavy, has a lot of drag, and it needed a lot of lift. So I ended up making fold out wings that worked pretty well and it's pretty stable at the very end. But I don't want to skip ahead too much. I'm actually going to show a lot of the build, basically all of it, in this video. Uh, obviously sped up, of course, it took a long time to build this. Um, but what we're going to be doing is building it and then testing it and then editing, testing, editing, like that. That's actually how I build all of my things. Usually, though, I just combine all the building and then show you the finished product with maybe one, um, one test run in between. But this time, I actually wanted to show you how I build these products. So this thing that I'm building right now, no test runs. This is completely new. I didn't practice beforehand. This is just what's in my brain and, you know, put it out on paper or I guess in the pieces right here. Fix it a little bit, make it look a little bit better, try to make it work, and then we will end up with a test run. By the way, guys, if you've gotten this far into the video, it would really help me out if you could like the video and subscribe if you're not already. That just helps my channel grow and makes me uh, look more famous in the eyes of the YouTube algorithm. According to YouTube, only like 2% of my viewers are subscribed. I think that's because I have a video with over a million views, which is great. But at this point, I only have 8,500 subscribers, so that means most people who watch the video aren't subscribed. So if you're watching this and you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. It would really help me out. The cargo space is going to be just a big box and the top of the box is going to open as well as the back of the box so it can be used for multiple different things i will try to upload the craft file in the description so check in the description below if you are looking for a giant flying cargo truck All right, we are coming up on our first test launch so we can see all of the errors we have made and work to fix them. So the wings work just fine. The ends of the uh, hinges for the top and the back, you can tell the structural panels are a little messed up. So we'll fix those in our next edit, but let's first see if this flies. It's not really getting off the ground and it has no lift at all so we need some more lift so right now we're going to fix those back hinges just so they actually look nice and they're not uneven and then let's add another piece to the wing and this has to be sort of big because as you saw it has no lift whatsoever so we're going to make the wing just extend a little bit farther and this will fold right over on top of the last one and then we can sort of smush that below the cargo space when it folds up. Alrighty, test run number two is here. The wings are working just fine. By the way, if you're going to do this, I have an action group for locking those pistons and hinges because otherwise they just sort of flop about. So do that before you start taxiing down the runway. This has some more lift, but as you can see, it's twisting a little bit. It doesn't have any tails, which can be sort of an issue. So we need to add some tails. Also, I'm going to change the front of this just because I don't really like how it looked before. I couldn't actually find a perfect way to make this look good, but I think what I ended up with here is just fine.
We're going to make the tails fold down on hinges so they don't stick up the whole time because then it doesn't really look like a truck. So once we get the tails on the hinges, we just gotta edit them a little bit and then the tails are added. So let's make sure we have a locking action group for all of these hinges just because if you don't, then when you try to pull up with the um, wings, they'll sort of flop around and not work very well. But as you can see, those hinges work pretty great and we can start trying to fly again. This is a little bit better. It's actually flying now. So what we can do is try to turn it around and land and see what happens. I'm gonna speed this part up a little bit just because you don't need to wait here to, to get it land. But let's slow this down right now and see if we can actually land. Well, okay, nobody died, but I mean, that's a good thing, but it didn't really survive itself. So let's add a little bit more lift under here. It'll make it look better as well. This is actually what I did for my Formula 1 in my Flying Formula 1 video. You should go see that if you haven't. But this time, let's actually taxi around at the island airfield, just so we can see how this little truck drives. I guess it's not little, it's big. But as you can see, it drives great. So let's unfold the wings and the tails, and let's take off. These engines have a lot of thrust, so four of them on here. It's probably a bit overkill, but I just wanted the center of thrust to be at a nice position. But let's actually go fly to the KSC from the island airfield and see how we land. All right, we are coming into the runway. This version of the cargo truck is actually very stable and very nice to fly. That was a perfect landing. I don't think I could have asked for a better landing. So let's actually drive this around a little bit after we've seen how well it can fly and land. That was a really good landing. I just wanna say that was my first try landing on the runway and it was perfect first try. So yeah, I'm happy about that. As I said before, this does have a lot of room in here. We can even walk around with one of our Kerbal pilots. Look at that, he's having a lot of fun. And then uh, maybe I should have put some ladders here, but that's an easy fix. Anyway, as I said, you could drive something out the back, you could launch something out the top right there. You could do a lot of things with this. If you use this flying cargo truck to build a base or launch a rocket to a faraway planet or something cool like that, let me know in the comments down below. I'd be really happy to hear how you use this truck. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and have a great rest of your day.